Hello everyone, Joe here from Different Fins. We are at Loch Sewell. Same place that we did our video last year, rough day on Loch Sewell. But Tony and I today, and the next day, and the next day, are doing a 50 kilometer canoe trip, leaving Deception Bay, and we're gonna end in Sulica, Ontario. So this is gonna be a fun trip, fun adventure. So I invite you to join along. And here we go. This is the lure I'm starting off with. Just a perch pattern, original floating Rapala. Hopefully it gets some hits. Yeah, same thing with one cast. Oh. Huh. You see what it was? No. Hopefully I caught it on the uh, GoPro though. Okay, maybe two casts. Yeah. That looks so awesome. Straight ahead. Yeah, like take a look at that where you can see where the water line normally is. Yeah. It's been such a dry summer. Fish. Yeah, that's cool looking rocks right there. Oh yeah. Isn't it? It's got like white and gray mixed in with the dark gray. Then the moss and the lichen on it. Beautiful. I wonder if, uh, nah, this, yeah, th this is Driver Island, is it not? This part, this body here, I think that's Driver Island because you cross Loon Rapids over there by that bridge. See how it's all burnt? Yeah. Remember this island burnt, that's Driver Island. Oh my goodness, it is. Yeah. All the new growth, the regen trees. Yeah. Cool. Oh, fish. Ah, first time using this rod holder, so. Ah. There we go. What do we got? On the board. Yeah. I'm guessing a pipe. I guess I guessed right. Yeah. Yeah, decent one. Let them do a couple circles here, burn some energy. Awesome. Putting too much resistance on the net. Oh no! No, he's not. I saw him shoot out of the net. He's underneath you. Ah, what I knew is there. Check it out. I got my knee on it. So it's like a live well right now. There it is. That fish has a belly on it, wow. Uh, yeah, but thick, very thick. He's got a, he's a full belly. Hmm. Nice. Sweet. We're on the board. Yep. This is a new rod holder I got made by Scotty. Nice and rigid. Just caught my first fish with it. And it seemed to work pretty well. I had difficulty taking the fish out or the rod out because of the tension, but uh, I'm sure I'll learn the technique to do it. 
Now this is some cool looking shoreline. It's amazing, like how many years ago, do you remember when that Driver Island fire was? So 10 years ago and it's taken that long for these trees to grow back. Yeah. A little bay back there. If I didn't see that spot up ahead, I'd think, oh. Yeah, that's off though. You're gonna get hit now. Going past this island. Yeah, there might be something there. Is that a fish? Yep. I called it. It came out of the water. It's probably, is that a bass? No, it's a small fish, whatever it is. Probably a little pike. But still, I don't know, it, it came out of the water. I called it though, hey? I said, when we go by this island, it's your turn to get a hit. Yeah. I haven't seen it yet. That's a little bass. A little bass. Sweet, multi-species. On the board. Careful, man, don't get a hook in you. Yeah. Tony's on the board. Woo! Got one. Fishy. That's a pretty cool island right here, man. If this was 10 kilometers down, I hope we find something like this where it's got a nice landing spot. Some big trees I could hang, well, we could hang our hammocks. Yep. Looks like there's lots of moss, like comfy place to pitch the tent. Yeah, that would be, uh, it would be a nice spot. Yeah, no bugs, no bears. Big old red pine. My battery died. Tony's on a fish. We were just coming into this little bay to stretch our legs, grab a snack, and Tony hooked up. Fish on. Oh yeah, well, same size as the one I caught, I think. Yep. There's your fish. Yep, nice fish. Beautiful black sewell pike. Nice scrap on the medium action rod. Yep. Oh, oh. He's good. Perfect. Just chilling. Ah, <sighs> wind seemed to pick up. Let's see how it is. Once we get around this corner, we'll know. Yeah, it is what it is. It's off. Didn't look very big. I just saw my rod rock in there and didn't really double back much. You got a fish? Where do we find a school of walleye or something? We did find some walleye. Multi species. Haha. <laughs> well, we 
Yeah. Good call. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, you can go. <laughs> <laughs> Took off in a hurry. Oh, he splashed me good. Or is it a whistling duck? <laughs> so it doesn't do the... No. It's not a mallard? That looks sweet. Feels decent. Yeah. There we go. What do we got? Another nice pike. Wow. Ah, right. Yeah, buddy. I'm not too eager to <laughs> land him. A nice size. Wow. Yeah. He T-boned it. Yeah. Not too shabs. No. Not too shabby. Are you done? I don't want I don't want to bring him into the boat when he's still got energy, eh? No. Nope, I don't think he's done yet. Nope, I didn't think so. Woo! Jump in you. Or a run? Take a run. Oh, big head shakes. Yeah, it's a beauty. Oh, that did not feel good. What? If it was 30 degrees, <laughs> oh, he soaked me. Okay. He ain't fighting. I'm not worried about the fish, I'm just worried about the hook, right? Yeah. yeah. Nice one. That might be pushing 40, eh? No. 38, 40? Right up there. Yeah. Up for 30. Good one. Hang on. Stop paddling for a second. Yeah. I should want to take a picture? Turn your phone on. I'm just gonna let her catch her breath. Yeah, it's probably not a 40 incher, but it's a meter fish. It's a 39 incher for sure. Beautiful pike. Oh, wow, yeah, that's a nice one. <laughs> Beautiful colors on it. I'm just gonna wait till wait until she shows some strength. Fish. 
the sun's coming out just the right time. Perfect. You good to go? Not quite yet. Upsize the hook, maybe. See if that makes a difference. There it goes. Beautiful. That's why we come out here. Mid afternoon. We probably covered 12 kilometers so far. And check out this cool sandy beach that we found. Black Sewell has some hidden gems. How beautiful is this? Little guy, probably. Yep, just a little guy. But from this beautiful beach. Fishing right off the beach. Yep. Getting bites. Yeah. No one must controlling in the fall, you gotta catch a surprising amount of little pike. Ooh. Graceful release. Oh, check out this beaver stick. Raw. Let's do this. No, that's a vacation. Black Sewell floating lodges, set up on a beach, a tent, just a beautiful spot, great fishing. Good times. Yep. Nice. Oh, it's still breezy, but oh, I think we got lucky. That's a lot of rain. That is a lot of rain. Yeah. Would have been fine, just less comfortable. Yeah. I love rain, but uh, when I'm camping, I like being dry. I think this is our winter up here. Big mature jack pines on it. Oh, maybe right there. Pull the canoe up right between those trees. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think this one's uh, this one's worth getting out and looking at. I think that's the spot. We'll take out those two little spruce trees. Yeah. Yeah, that's where the tent's going. Wow. We just got to our island, set up the tent, and the storm is about to crush us. Woo! Perfect timing. We're just gonna wait it out, wait for the storm front to pass, and then we'll get organized again. Wow. Ridiculous. Um, we found our home for the night. Canoes landed down there. Tony's trying a few casts. We just got the tent set up in time. I was going to set up a hammock as well, but it was literally right on time. As soon as we got the tent set up, thunderstorm hit, it rained. But uh, it's cleared up now. I'm just going to give you a quick tour. This little campsite we found. 
made a nice fire pit. There's our tent set up. Over here, it looks like there was a maybe a trapper shack or some kind of a cabin way back in the day. There's some remnants here. And some really old beer cans. Look at that. Gold metal beer. Quality beer. That must be crazy old. Another one over here. Tom Moore. Hmm. I wonder what that tasted like. Anyway, gonna cook up some food, get some energy back. Maybe we'll play a little bit more this evening. There we have it. Half a spider dog. It tastes good. A new product I brought on this trip. The Platypus Quick Draw Water Filter. It filters down to 0.2 microns, which is good enough because what I'm concerned about in the water here is, you know, Giardia, Cryptosporidium, and the smallest of those is about four microns. So that clearly will do the job, it'll get rid of it. So I'm gonna get some dirty water in this reservoir, use the filter, and drink what comes out the other end. Just gonna scoop it. Yeah, yeah. Gotta scoop it. Now for the filter, clean and dirty. That's a genius idea. Yeah, that water is actually pretty clean to begin with. Anyway, this is all dirty, untreated water. Just thread that on. Pop the lid off. And now everything that comes out of there, clean, should be treated water. It'll be hard to tell though, like that's clean water. Yeah, it's pretty solid, eh? Yep. Just need a stable place to put this. There we go. Here we go. First taste test, platypus filtered. Tastes fine. It's like spring water, I guess. The water in the lake isn't too cold yet, but it's good. It'll keep us alive. <laughs> 